Got a little different video for you today. I've been challenged by the reasonable gentleman before and I failed to make the video. This time I am not going to fail him. Fave 5, I'm going to go through the list uh, right after the intro. Intro! All right, I was challenged by the reasonable gentleman to show off my favorite five out of these categories. He also challenged the send in, which I will put his video right up here. So you can go check that out too as well, see what five he picked. But the list consists of number one, paint application. The second one is your favorite glow pop. Third is favorite flocked or metallic. I went with flocked on mine. Four is your favorite six inch or 10 inch pop. And five is your favorite sculpt or mold of a pop. And four and five kind of intertwine for me because they're both 10 inch pops, but there is a four inch version of the one 10 inch pop. But you'll see that when we get into it. Little B Cow says hi. All right, the list is number one, my favorite paint application. It's actually two pops, but it's kind of the same pop and I just received them and once I looked at them, I was like, wow, they actually painted these very well because some of the pops I've got, the paint is meh, it's just garbage. So the two that I picked for my first spot are, well, bam the joker batman 1989 regular and the chase the paint application on these guys hopefully you can see them without too much glare i cannot see my viewfinder <laughs> but the paint application the way they painted these is very well done and i'm going to give you guys a little bit closer look at these two right about now Hopefully you enjoyed that little closer look at these two bad mamma jammas right here. But the way these are painted and just how clean some of the lines are on these pops, especially on the face and around the, uh, the mouth, is done very well. Kudos to you, uh, Funko, for uh, making these awesome jokers. These are close to being one of my favorites as far as top joker pop, but as far as the paint application, these two want it. All right, now moving on to my favorite glow pop. It's actually out of the box right now. And it's a pop that's probably gonna be going up in price. It is my favorite glow pop because the glow on it is just awesome. It's really, really blue. The glow is just, ooh. So that's why it's set up in my glow display. I'll cut a little picture of that right about now. It's just the pop that I was talking about. It's just awesome. The glow is bright, it is blue, it is amazing, and it is none other than Soka Tan Glow in the Dark Pop, which I do not have the uh, box for it right now. The box is actually in kind of a storage thing with all my other boxes for pops that I do have out of their boxes. But she is just awesome. The glow, I will put, since I can't remember what con she is from, I'll put that up uh, right over in here just so uh, you know, but on the rise too. Price is going up on the Ahsoka Pops. If you didn't snag them already, yeah, it's gonna be expensive to catch up if you are wanting to get those. And this is coming from somebody that was like, I don't collect Star Wars, I don't collect Star Wars. Yeah, 
That didn't last very long. I do collect some Star Wars, but not all. Mostly Mandalorian and like Ahsoka and a couple from the Rebels. Also, I'm gonna cut this in here. Let's get a little closer look at Ahsoka glow in the dark. Bam. Hopefully you enjoyed that little closer look at her. All right, on to my favorite flocked pop. This one is kind of near and dear to me because it was my favorite part in Captain Marvel, which made the movie for me. And it just looks like my old cat Tiggs. He was amazing. I missed that kitty. He passed away last year. But this pop reminds me of him and is also flocked. We have Bam! Flocked Goose from Captain Marvel, which made the movie for me. Definitely made the movie for me. But let's get a little closer look at Goose Flocked. Bam! look at uh, flock goose there a little bit of meaning here it was a toss-up between this one and flock Garfield they're both awesome pops and both remind me of my old fat orange kitty Tiggs but that is number three my favorite flocked pop now this one was real tough too so I used one of them as my sculptor mold and I used the other one as my favorite 10 inch. So number four on the list for my favorite six or 10 inch pop is going to be, bam, 10 inch Boba Fett. This pop is awesome. This one could also go with my paint application too. Technically just because of how they did the face and the body or the armor damage they have done on it but this guy it's just amazing i like it no more 10 inch pops but i think i'm gonna i got the 10 inch child coming and i have the uh, i think they're doing a 10 inch mando i gotta get those i gotta keep that line complete but here we go a little closer look at the 10 inch mando not mando Mando on the brain, the 10 inch. Boba Fett was number one as my favorite 10 inch or six inch pop. Let's take a little closer look. closer look at the uh, 10 inch Boba Fett here number one favorite 10 inch pop on to the next for the list we have my favorite sculptor mold I'm waiting on the four inch version from Shumi he's kind of slow on shipping anyway self plug Shumi code B Cobb anyway waiting for my Venomized set so I'm gonna show off the 10 inch version of this because the sculpt is really really awesome and it's just it's way better than the other sculpt of this so what I'm talking about is group venomized group to be exact this is my favorite sculpt this sculpt on him is incredible 
The other one's kind of meh. This one right here, put a little picture of it. Nah, this one, this one, yes, is amazing. The sculpt on this, and even the paint app is really awesome. So this one could be thrown up on the paint app as well. I'm waiting for the four inch version of this one. The 10 inch version is just even better, actually, of this. So for somebody that doesn't want any more 10 inches, I got a whole lot of 10 inches. That's not what she said. Ha, jokes. Anyway, let's take a little closer look at Groot. Is my Fay 5 4 paint application, which was the Jokers here, Glow Pop, Ahsoka Tan, favorite Flocked Pop, Goose, my favorite 6 to 10 inch pop, Boba Fett here, and my favorite sculptor mold is 10 inch group because I don't have the 4 inch version yet. That is my fave five right there. I was challenged by the reasonable gentleman. Go check his channel out. I'm sure if you're watching mine, you're probably subscribed to him. He posts videos every day. I can get you a video once a month. I'm sorry, I apologize. But he challenged me and now I get to pick two people to challenge. I challenge Mystery Pop Theater, Curtis, challenge you to your fave five. And I challenge Pop in Hand, Justin and Andrea, or both, either or, both of you. I challenge Pop in Hand to uh, show us their Fae Fives and how much awesomeness they have going on in their collection and how theirs differs from mine or Sin's or The Reasonable Gentleman, even though he copied me, even though he made the video first of his favorite 10 inch, which was this one. I'm gonna post his video up up over here for you to go check that one out. And a little bonus action for you here. Uh, these three boxes I'm about to open, well one's already open, the other two I have no idea what's in them, so since I know what's in this one I'm opening it first. I'm going to show it to you guys, these came from the Reasonable Gentleman, this little bonus content, and this right here is super awesome this came from a video of his which that's why this is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection now which i'm gonna link that video right over here for you but we have if you've not seen the video yet you need to go check it out because we have the child that was crushed by a hammer let me show you up here and I got another little video angle going on that I'm trying out just for this little bonus ending here. But uh, we got the child that was in the destruction video from the reasonable gentleman. And that is awesome. And he's got the little donut sticker. That's reasonable gentleman's uh, little custom sticker. I'm gonna call this a custom from the reasonable gentleman. Awesome, thank you, sir. We're going to sit him, oh, let's say right about there. And these two boxes, I have no idea what's in them whatsoever. I talked about them today with him and he asked if they showed up yet. I said no, and then they came in the mail today. I don't know which to open. This one says, uh, join us, b -Cob. So we're going to open that one last. We're going to do this one first. And see, uh, see what these surprises are. I had no idea he was sending me these until he wrote me today. Oh, we got packing peanuts. I did not come prepared for this. That here, 
Show this camera down here first. Bam! <laughs> what do we got here? This is awesome. Oh my goodness. We have the office Peter Gibbs. This is what he was talking about, what he sent me in the chat the other night, him and I have. He sent me, uh, and it says, the man, the myth, the mustache, TRG 2020 custom. It was this that he sent me, and a little snippet from the Instagram chat, and <laughs> this is what he said. I'll just show it here. So it's actually Peter Gibbons and Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator's body. And he painted on the best mustache I've ever seen <laughs> on a pop. So amazing, amazing job by the reasonable gentleman. I appreciate it, sir. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff all around. Now it makes sense. Look at that. That is freaking fantastic. So cool. Another reasonable gentleman custom. There's a couple other things that were uh, in that box that I'm just going to hide right back here. Those are for just me and him. <laughs> but we have another custom. God, that is awesome. This is making a good ending to the video. And now, the box that really intrigues me. The Join Us Be Cobb box. What? <laughs> Let's see here. What? No way. Oh my gosh, dude, dude, ha <laughs> ha, dude, all right, I get what the, I get what this means now, definitely get what that means, the come join us thing is between me, the reasonable gentleman, and just call me D, we were talking about Hot Wheels, and I said I didn't need to go into another another rabbit hole, basically. So, what's he do? He sends me this. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. What? That is awesome. That is freaking killer. Dude. He gave me the Boba Fett slightly rapey creep van but i love it i love it dude appreciate it i appreciate it now i'm gonna have to go look for the mandalorian and those other ones you guys showed me ah uh, here i come rabbit hole i didn't get the okay to buy uh turtles ones though jen, jen saw the turtles ones she goes i need those so it's like I'm going to be going down the Hot Wheels toys aisles now, besides the Funko aisles. I better end this video. It's probably turning out to be a long video, but since I haven't posted one for a while, this made for a pretty awesome video. So, as always, you guys stay awesome. So, uh, here you go. Hop on in. An outro. Do you want the mustache on or off? Off, please. Too bad. Right.